Hello my friends, welcome to part 20 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. Uh, we're playing on Ultra Hard Difficulty. Last episode, it was uh, Snap Moors, Snap Moors, and more Snap Moors. <laughs> it was these crocodile machines and they were bloody terrifying guys i'm not gonna lie to you they were quite scary but um we got through it which was good and um yeah so what we're gonna do now uh give me a sec let me just loot this fox and oh that's what i needed to show you guys check this out i ended up buying maps from um a merchant now someone in the comments well a couple of you in the comments were telling me to buy uh, these maps from any merchant i couldn't find them before but i eventually found them and they give you the exact locations for vantage points which i love guys i love vantage points they were pretty sick metal flowers and anything else and these as well you know the mugs so what we're going to do oh well i guess every episode we're just going to systematically go through maybe i don't know a couple of these there's one actually on the way to day tower that's where we're gonna go and just letting you know what we're doing today all right we're gonna go um back to day tower but if at all possible i'd very much like to open up this um tall neck i think that would be pretty cool so that's what we're gonna do but before that let's grab this and i hope it'll be easy to reach but we'll see anyway i hope everyone's doing well very hot here in the UK. <laughs> oh, god damn it. All right. Okay, guys, it's saying it's up here. There it is. I can actually see it. Can you see it there? I can't zoom in. God damn it. All right, one sec. Let's get off the broadhead. Guys, my broadhead's not going to be safe. He's going to get killed. Uh, what the hell? Where did they come from? Oh, for goodness sake, guys. For goodness sake. Listen, scrappers and watchers have blatantly just spawned in. All right, we're going to leave him here because I don't want him to get hurt because I need him. We've got a long journey. Guys, let's just take care of these scumbags. <laughs> All right, I've got hard point arrows now. These are excellent. So, All right. Oh, look at that damage, guys. Whoa, where did you come from? good all right did i get ah i missed his um weak spot one sec i'm crying out loud man okay that's the laser i really hate and he just he just got me with it god damn it man really oh my god Guys, I didn't expect this at all, honestly. It's this game sometimes just throws these unnecessary curveballs at you. There were no scrappers here at all. Oh no, no, please! Oh god damn it, guys, the damage! And he can't seem to dodge that. Unbelievable. Alright, he's down. My goodness. Alright, whatever. It's all over. Oh, damn it guys i promise you on my life i was um i was here for about five minutes before i started recording there was no machines nothing none whatsoever and suddenly i don't know some scrappers and watchers spawned in anyway whatever it's over now i'll, I'll stop moaning <laughs> all right guys there it is can you see it all right so let's go there uh, so thank you. I uh, can't remember if it was either Eddie, Eddie Fricky Munson or Yarnamite. Um, you guys told me to get the maps and it was something else. Oh yeah, gold, gold fast travel pack or something. And apparently that gives you unlimited uh, fast travel. So that's awesome. And apparently we can't get it until... Alright, anyway, let's do this first. Yeah, we can't get it until we get to Meridian or something. A pack of shit storm tour, day eight. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in the mine back beyond these falls. 
what a punk I was. Oh man, guys, this is... I love this. I absolutely love this. Now look at it. I think, guys, I'm not sure, but I think this is this is that bandit camp that we were supposed to... Uh, we'll tackle at some point, but not, not anytime soon. Oh, great, great loot. Oh, wait, what's happened? Oh, god damn it. Okay, guys, so, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to resume our journey. We just need to get back to Day Tower, that's all, really. All right, where's my mount? Okay, guys, so I just fast travel to data. I'll just be a little bit quicker. So, um, we're here. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, I'm just going to loot up some medicine. And then we'll move on. Okay, guys, so we're back in day tower. What we need to do, however, just before we actually leave this place, we need to speak to... I think his name is Zaid, so we need to speak to him. And where is he? Oh, there he is. Check it out. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I don't know what... Well, Captain Balan. Oh, we need to see Captain Balan, guys. Sorry, give me a second. Let me, let me go talk to him real quick. We need to tell him that we found his dude. Uh, where is he? Find goods for a fair price. All right, should be here somewhere. All right, check it out, guys. Here's Captain Balan. Let's talk to him real quick. Look here, came back on his own. A little words for wear. He seemed a bit embarrassed when I mentioned you. Dare I ask? He has a lovely singing voice. That's a capital lie if I've ever heard one. I'll have a talk with him about it. <laughs> all right, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, we exhausted all the conversation I need to go. so let's get out of it there's any news about those missing men i found the missing men dude oh whatever guys <laughs> that's disappointing all right check it out and guys there's something here arrested too for disorder oh what's this all right the derangements okay the derangement of the machines, esteemed lords and ladies of the sound court, honoured canes and patrons, your concerns regarding the continuing derangement of the machines are noted. Though many seasons have passed since the first sightings of this frightful change, the Sun King is well aware that this is no longer a matter of reports from border patrols and hunters' lodge expeditions. One needs only look to the abandoned estate lands. Indeed, the estates you owned, left for the jewel to rec reclaim, or to the empty freeholds of the common Kadra folk. Know that the Sun King has taken every measure to protect Holy Meridian and the Maze Lands with renewed patrols. As for entreating the Sun, we believe the cause of the derangement cannot be the Sun's displeasure alone. For the years of sacrifice under Sun King Jaran, produce no noticeable effect on the machines his luminance <laughs> and the sun priest are in agreement that even if this is an ordeal set for us by the sun our suffering will no not be reduced with blood for your education i will recount what we have observed of the derangement of the simpler machines the herd creatures the gallopers the scuttlers where once they fled at the sight of men now they are more likely to charge the larger ones, once only a menace to the inebriated and foolhardy, can be seen to lunge at the unwary with murderous intent. This is to say nothing of the coming of the Sawtooth or its metal brethren, the Ravager, the Stalker, or that terrible giant, the Thunderjaw. Okay, Thunderjaw, I know of it. I've never faced one, but I know of it because, you know, it's been on YouTube, etc. Anyway, each one has proved a more capable killer of men than the last. Each wielding a wider array of strange weapons, the wilds are no longer safe due to the hostility of these 
new machines. Though to date they not wait. Though to date they probably have not attacked a settlement within the Sundom. Outland Outlanders have brought no shortage of fanciful explanations for this behaviour. Some suggest that the machines have come to resent men for hunting them. So they used to be peaceful before, guys. Huh, interesting. Yet such a thing has never been witnessed among beasts of flesh and blood, and they are proven to be more capable of thinking and memory. Karja hunters and Osram tinkers alike have attempted to understand the phenomenon by inspecting felled machines, but these appear no different to those harvested many years before derangement began, with the same assortment of wires, braiding, lenses, hearts, and so on. When these parts are subjected to the light of the sun or to Osram experiments with fire and spark, they react as they always have. The Banuk, however, claimed to have recorded a change in the machine songs of the machine spirits, suggesting that these have become increasing, increasingly discordant. The Sun King has sent envoys to Ban Ur, <laughs> whatever that is, to learn more, in the hopes that their mysticism might contain a truth when the rational light of the sun is brought to bear upon it. Of course, the Sun King graciously welcomes your own contributions to study of the machine uh, of the derangement, asking only that they are delivered in written form and not during royal audience. His luminance also hopes to dissuade you from participating in machine hunts during these uncertain times. The strength of a united Sun Court is the strength of all Karja. Respectful Tashadi Court Envoy. All right, cool. <laughs> Excellent. That was a lot to read, but very interesting. Very interesting, guys. Because I wanted to know more about the derangement. And that's interesting that machines weren't so dangerous before. Anyway, let's speak to this dude. He's very sus. A <laughs> very sus guy. You're a Zaid. And you're a Nora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. I don't know, guys. I don't really, I don't really believe him. <laughs> but anyway. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Well, he lets her go. All right, that's interesting. Where is she now? Where is Nakoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been. All right, Red Raids. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. It's quite believable what you're saying, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'll head for Lonesome Rock. We're not going to do that today, though. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. 
Damn Osara, I'm stirring up tensions. I'm Very accommodating, and I'm not sure, guys. I don't know whether to believe him or not. Oh, check it out. There's some loot here. I just saw that green <laughs> diamond, and anyway, grab that. What's that? A shard's gambler box. All right, give me a sec. Oh, damn, I've got loads of these. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, grab all of that. All of that. Oh, eight metal shards. Jesus. I thought it was going to be something better than that. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, by the way, guys, give me a sec. Um, Let me just check if... That garrison is my only lead. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want to call for a dialogue. Let me just speak to the merchant. Let me just see if the, she sells a golden uh, pack. And I think it'll be in resources. Oh, <gasps> it's here, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay, remember, I'm playing the game in ultra hard. But these are, it's not a new game plus playthrough. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the difficulty to story. Or which whichever, as long as it's not ultra hard. And let's see how much it is now. Guys, I got it. <laughs> we actually did it. That's fantastic. Thank you, Eddie uh, freaking Munson and uh, Old Yarnum. I really appreciate it, man. So here we go. I've got fox skin, <laughs> 10 fatty meat. There we go. Done. So I can now unlimited tra uh, fast travel, which is, which is great. All right. So let's put it back on ultra hard. And let's do this. So, how do we actually get out of here? Alright, I think... Okay, I get it. We have to go through that way. I haven't been there yet. So, let me save real quick. And let's make a move on. Now, can I get my mount? I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were. How they saw me through his focus. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. Then he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. The snow's got a bite out here. Alright, so let's just do... I don't want to call for daughter because it's actually cool. So... Where is the... Sorry, give me a sec, guys. I haven't explored this. Hey, there's a boar here. Hey. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, I think he's a pet or something, guys. I can't kill him. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go up here real quick. Okay, just, just an alternative path, that's all. All right, guys, so let's go back there. Sorry, boy, I didn't know you were someone's pet. <laughs> All right, can I... No, I can't get my mouth yet. Okay, we need to go a bit further in, I guess. Man, why can't it be daytime? I love the night and day cycle. I do, but it's just what I find with this game. Nighttime seems to be very dark. Like, I just literally cannot see anything. And what I mean by that, you know, like the uh, the backgrounds and anyway, whatever. Let's um, let's keep going. Hey, man, where are you? Dude! Alright. There is. Okay, I think it's I think it's this way, right? Guys, this is awesome, man. A brand new area. We actually did it. Oh, a merchant. Where? Oh, here we go. Check it out. There's a freaking merchant here, guys. All right. What do you have? Ah, oh, guys, I'm very tempted to buy this. The Shadow Sharp Shot Bow. I do want it. And somebody was telling me... Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Again, I can't remember who it was who left the comment. I can use... Uh, there's another arrow. 
okay, okay, you've got precision arrows, you've got the tear arrows, but you've also got another ammo type that actually if you shoot uh, a weak point or whatever, you get more rewards or something. So I do want to get this, but do I want to get it now though? Alright, tell you what, let's leave here, at least we know she's there, so that's good. What the hell is that? Oh, hell no. Oh, guys, I don't know, man. Do I want to fight that thing? Oh, shit, it can see me already, guys. Listen. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let me just get the hell out of here. Right, we're going to pick this up, and then we're going to go down here. So that's the plan today. A little bit of exploration, but it looks like we need to get past this whatever this is. All right, wish me luck. I'm just going to run for it. I hope this thing doesn't bother me. These machines are alert. Oh, no, it's see me, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, please. Go, go, go. God damn it. I'm not looking back, guys. Hunting trials? Okay, Broadhead, please. Will you go a little bit faster, please? This is freaking terrifying, man. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're nearly here. Where's it? Wait, I think it's below us. Alright, let's have a look, guys. All right, let me let me just keep following it. Machine side broadheads. Okay, cool. Oh, I found it. Here we go, guys. And thanks again. I can't thank you guys enough for giving me little tidbits of uh, info. That's awesome. So let's have a look at this. Uh, collectibles, and it will be this one here. Uh, whoa, this is a long one. <laughs> okay, code fragment downloaded. It may indeed be fantasy when I essay to draw from all created things deep heartfelt inward joy that closely clings and tracing leaves and flowers that round me lie lessons of love and earnest pie tie is that how you say that i don't know so let it be and if the wide world rings in mock of this belief it brings so will i build my altar in the fields and the blue sky my fretted dome shall be and the sweet fragrance that the wildfire yields shall be the incense I will yield to thee, thee only God. And thou shalt not despise, even me, the priest of this poor sacrifice. Guys, I really want to know who's... Uh, obviously, this is a machine code fragment, as it says, but who's... <laughs> what, what's going on? That's all I want to know, man. Like, like who's behind that? I, I don't know. It's it's intriguing, but it's also very confusing as well. Okay, look, um, we need to go down here, and I can see those freaking snap more things as well. So we need to follow this. All right, let's aim for that, I guess. All right, let's give this a try, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Guys, I can see a snap more. <laughs> Look, we did handle it. We did, you know, pretty well. Wait. Wait, hold on, guys. Where, Where's the thing? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to get up to that um, place so I can save it. All right, that's just a watcher. All right. <laughs> A little bit overwhelmed, guys. But it's okay. Right, so we need to get to that. And there's also a metal flower there. Now, it's saying it's over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, guys. There's a freaking snap more there as well. Okay. All right, let's be smart about this. Okay. All right. Broadhead, I'm going to leave you here. 
Oh, for crying out loud. God damn it, man. <laughs> Perfect. All right, grab that. Grab that. All right, where is... Oh, shit! Okay, guys. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm panicking a bit. Okay, I need some freeze. Shit. Shit. Whoa! Jesus! Okay, I've not been this close to it yet, guys, so... Wish me luck. Remember, when I was fighting him before... Oh, shit. Oh, my God! My health! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Okay, okay, guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. We're not ready for this place. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I got overwhelmed, guys. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Wow, I got my ass kicked, guys. What the hell? Oh, put me, right, put me right here. Thanks very much, game. Really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, my God. Guys, I can't even get away from this damn thing. Shit. Wow. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I don't even know where the actual tall neck is. <sighs> wow. Can he? No. Please, will he just swim, Aloy? All right, so how, how do we do this? I tell you what. I tell you what, give me a second. Oh, I see. You see that there? I need to get there. Come on, watch it. Hurry up. I haven't got time for this shit. Okay, just kill it. Okay, start more. Why are you here? Just wait. I gotta be a little, uh, be a little patient. Actually, let's override him, guys. Let's override him. All right, he's my buddy for now. So we need to get up here. Shit, there's a freaking snap wall there as well. Okay. This one is going to keep going up and down here. <sighs> All right, guys, he's distracted the other slam wall. I tell you what. Come on, come on, hurry up, Aloy. What the hell is this? Oh, fish, okay. Oh, fish skin, I needed both of those, actually. Come on, Aloy, hurry up, please. All right. How do I get up here? No, Samuel, please leave me alone. Oh my god, how do I guys? I'm I'm in such a panic. Alright, let's hide here. Hide here. <laughs> this is awful, man. Okay, what are you? Please, Sam will leave me alone, please. He knows I'm here! God damn it! He knows I'm here! Damn it, man! Okay. Guys, we're not gonna make it. Okay, guys. Oh! 
Oh, he made it, guys! Yes! <laughs> Suck a dick, you assholes! Okay. <laughs> we actually did it, guys. Wait, wait, wait. I'm taking damage. Can you climb up, Aloy? Jesus. Climb up. Hurry up. What? No, get up there. Get up there, please. All right, I need to heal. Get up there. Okay. Oh, my God, guys. That was too close. <laughs> oh, damn it. I can't believe we've got away with that. That was, that was pretty shit. Oh, God. Okay, we made it. We actually made it. Shit. Okay, so this was called Tornet Copper Deeps. Didn't even get to read this. All right, let's have a look at the map, guys. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so this entire area has been opened up. Oh, we didn't open up this place, Meridian. I see. Okay, we got to open this tall neck here. Or override it, rather. So what have we got? Another bandit camp. I don't think we'll be ready for that. This is a higher level now, isn't it? Okay, so that's where we are. Uh, Shell Walker. There's another uh, thing here, Cauldron. I'd like to do that. Yeah, awesome, guys. Look, there's a lot to do. And there's plenty of new merchants, new monsters. Not monsters, sorry. I'm getting this mixed up with Monsanto Weld. There's Daughter's Vengeance, so that'll be here. Lonesome Rock. But next episode, we're going to go here. But this is exciting, guys. I'm actually glad we're in a new area. God, I can't believe we got away with it, but we made it. We made it. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, I landed in the water. Okay. <laughs> okay, I made it. I made it. Anyway, check this out. Observer log USW18. Right, orbit 3K2 initiated. Cycle 807-645. Routing query sent. No response GP prime. Ping inert agents. 31 out of 35 dormant. I, I can't figure this out, guys. It's that... Is that because Aloy's trying to override these machines or what? Alright guys, okay, we're going to leave it there. Um, next episode, we're going to make our way down to Meridian, finally. But I just really wanted to get this tall neck out of the way, you know? But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit messy, very sloppy, I know. And I got my ass kicked. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.